Okay, moving on to step three. Now we want to show that this is true for n equals to k plus one. That is showing that this left hand side equals to this side, okay? That's what we want to do in step three. Show it's true for n equals to k plus one by showing that this side equals to this side. Now, how do we get this equation over here? Well, the left hand side, what we do is we add an extra term, this term over here, because we're having k plus one. So that plus one is that extra term. And so we just substitute k plus one into this equation here. So we have two multiplied by k plus one plus one. So that becomes two k plus two plus another one becomes two k plus three. So we've just worked out our extra term. Now on the right hand side, I've just substituted k plus one into n. So I have k plus one plus another one, which gives me k plus two squared, yeah? And this part over here is just the same as what we had originally. So it's the same as what we had in step two. And that's important to remember because when we use the left hand side, we need to use that assumption that we made in step two. Yeah, can you see how here, this part, so the one plus three plus five till two K plus one looks exactly the same as the left hand side in step two. So instead of writing that part, what I'm going to do is substitute K plus one squared into it. Yeah, so I'm substituting that for this section. So now it's gonna become K plus one squared plus the remaining two K plus three. And somehow, so I, you always wanna keep in mind, what am I actually doing here? What I wanna do is make this look like the right hand side, right? So always keep that in mind. How am I gonna do that? Well, there's nothing I can really factorize or do here. So I know I need to expand first. So expanding K plus one squared, that becomes K squared plus two K plus one, okay? And now I'm just gonna simplify that. So the 2K plus 2K gives me 4K, one plus three gives me the four. So now I have K squared plus 4K plus four, which looks very similar to this, doesn't it? And now we know I just need to factorize that, make into a perfect square of K plus two squared. And you can see that looks exactly like the right hand side. Yep, so that equals to the right hand side. So with this, you always have your eye on this and you're just trying to make the left-hand side, we were manipulating this value to equal the right-hand side. So since the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, we can say therefore it is true for n equals to k plus one. So we've proven this over here. And that means if we've proven it's true for n equals to one, and now we've proven it's true for n equals to k plus one, we make our concluding statement. Therefore, the statement is true for all integers of n is equal to zero or greater than zero, yeah? Now, can you see how I've written zero here? And that's because in my first step, I worked out that n equals to zero was my initial value. So be really careful to also write that in your concluding statement. Now, just for the purpose of space, we've written therefore the statement is, but the best thing to write is therefore, this entire equation, what you have in the question, yeah, rewrite that, is true for all integers, n is greater or equal to zero, yeah? And so you just copy the question into the concluding sentence and always remember to check that you have the right n value here.